Welcome back to Resident Evil Village. We're about to go through the horsey door, but before that I want to buy some first aid meds because we're running low. By running low I mean we have none. <laughs> <laughs> I could craft a couple, but we're kind of running low on... Next we meet. We're running low on herbs too. Yeah, I've only got two herbs. By the way, just like 10 minutes ago when I wasn't even playing the game or preparing to record it or anything, I had a thought just suddenly come to my head. I forgot an item. In the Moreau swampy area, there's that boat. Not the one that you could actually drive, but the boat that was just part of the environment, I guess, that had a treasure chest on it. And I remember trying to get to the treasure chest, couldn't find a way, told myself, oh, maybe I'll find a way later. And then I forgot about it. I never found that chest. I hope I still have an opportunity to go back there. I probably will. Hopefully the factory, like after the factory, it'll loop back to everything like normal. I hope. Anyway, through the horsey door. Oh, that's not an earthquake. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Is it the chainsaw blade? Dude, I guess. Prototype Sturm. Used a cheap turboprop engine, but he's impossible to control. All he does is charge. Too much power output from the reactor. Completely invincible head on. But the dumbass managed to chop his own damn arms off on the propeller. Also issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Conclusion, a complete failure. So that's what I'm going to be fighting, I think. Storm. Or Sturm. Hmm. Invincible head-on. Managed to chop his own arms off. And issues with overheating from running too long. I don't really know what to do with that. Other than don't try to shoot it. Just run away from it until it overheats, maybe? I don't know how I would get it to chop its own arms off, though. It's shaking everything so badly that just, like, concrete dust and whatever is pouring down from the ceiling. Oh! Hi! Time for this bullshit! Out of my way! Um... Flashbang? Oh. Hmm. I thought that was my opportunity to uh, run around it. I guess it kind of was, but I guess I kind of mistimed it. Oh, that's a dead end. <laughs> what a ridiculous enemy! Oh, I saw it's back. There's a weak point on its back. All right, charge me. Silly! It's just a fucking engine! I was thinking I might need to make it chop its arms off, assuming it, like, I don't know, it regrew its arms or something. But it didn't. 
They they have no arms. Ah, yes. Oh my god! Venting the overheating, I guess? Oh, it's getting, like, very, um, aggravated. Oh, whoa. Oh god. That's a lot of fire. That sounded good. What the hell is it now? A mine would work. Oh, you can blow it up with your fire, you bastard. Fire, fire, fire. That was not the best time to do that. Now stay down. Oh no, 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 pick that up. That is an incredibly silly, but really cool enemy. <laughs> I love that design. It's just a fucking engine. Its entire chest is just a fucking prop engine. <laughs> mm, I am missing something in here. That was it. I hear a goat. A wooden, wooden goat figurine. Cigar. I suppose that's a treasure for the Duke. Cigar made in Cuba. It's really damp. Ew. Valuable. Miranda is abominable. Her deceit knows no bounds. We're merely a bunch of failed Kadao experiments to her. I was just lucky I had more affinity to the stuff than the other poor schmucks in the village. So she still calls me her son. What a joke.
I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. That crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change my body, she took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into anyone using the Mega My Seat. The trick is that brat, Rose, if I could access her power, then maybe. Speaking of, the kid's dad, Ethan, has a pretty interesting body himself. Maybe I could get him to help me out. Ethan has a pretty interesting body. No homo. Thank you. I think we're above ground now. I hear a storm coming, I think. Huh? 
I told you to leave it alone, Ethan. You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Miranda. What? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hand me that wrench. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. And this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get anything. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. Stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. <laughs> All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. Turn back now. The big question I have is how long was Miranda pretending to be Mia? Is Mia alive out there right now? Have they been dead since the previous game? I, hmm. To Hound Wolf Squad. The sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess this just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the mutamycite. My, my seat? The mutamycite, which has granted her a number of abilities, including mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the Winters' home. Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mom. When we attacked, it put a little damper on her plans, so she mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. Things didn't go the way she had originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Until now. It's time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. This might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around, and it's even made from a metal polymer composite, which he can't control. Time to turn the tables. Alpha.
Wait, aren't I supposed to take this top side? What am I doing here? Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. Oh. I'm coming, Rose. Oh, damn. Okay. We can guard? <laughs> Ready cannon, left to fire. Oh, wow, that shoots me back. Kickback from that is intense. We have unlimited ammo. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I just saw a goat. I saw a goat figurine. Like, halfway through on one of these, like, bars here. Restart. Because I don't think I can go back down. <laughs> this seems like a very scripted sequence. I'm not giving up that goat. Can't turn back now. There it is. Got it. Yeah. Thank you, goat. Are we blasting our way out of here? Yeah. You're like a goddamn cockroach! You think you can take me on? Fine. This will be my warm up before I kill the bitch. Let's set this. Man. A man. Your corpse will be another addition to my army. You dead already? <laughs> Having fun? Make that turn! This is the best! That one hurts! I close! <laughs> foot 
too bad I'm your only fan. Here we go, to the final stretch. Well, what do you think? It's hopeless, right? Just give up. Flesh and blood will never win against me. This isn't David and Goliath. It's Ethan and the bloody demise. <laughs> Come on! That was a really cool set piece. Ridiculous and cool. Ethan? I heard explosions. What the hell happened? I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Mia? Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor. Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> Miranda. Enough. Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her! Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Calm yourself. Rose will be saved. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours! Where are you? Show yourself! Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can from you. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come out and face me! Don't worry. Your death will you will join the Mega My Seeds records. I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs>
I've waited so long. But dreams really can come true. Vessel or not, I can't wait to see my true child. Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. We'll get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. BSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Yes, okay. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. When was it last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. I'm really curious where this is going. I was not expecting this. Uh, I guess I'm probably not going to be able to go back and get that item I missed, huh? <laughs> Kill Miranda, save Rose. I can't tell if the game's going to end in like 10 minutes, or if there could be significantly more to it. I don't know. I kind of felt the structure of it, like I knew the structure of it. Before, when we were playing as Ethan. But now, I don't know where this is going. reaching the objective. First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. Made contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. There's more than we thought. Watch out. What is... what is that? Hold on, what do I actually have? I have a bunch of grenades. That might be good here, actually. Meta injector. Oh, this is the thing. Target locator. Laser targeting device. Okay, so yeah, that's not for, for battle. 
And we have a knife. I think gathering resources isn't really a thing here. They're not dropping anything. This is not that kind of a section. Western route is clear. Moving out. Roger that. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Some flash Good grenades. Job. A lot of ammo. Oh, I can't open the outhouses anymore. What a tragedy. Oh, we're in front of Louise's house now. What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. That's probably where Miranda is. Let's go. Just want to check if this. Oh, there's no map. Just want to check if there's anything extra over here. Ah. Wait, is that an extra place to go, or what? What is this? Maybe this is the extra thing. So much ammo. I really don't need to worry about ammo at all. Hey, I can eyes on you, boss. Keep going. 
I've reached the target location. Damn, this is big. All right, Lobo. Marking the target. Roger that, boss. Just a minute. It's a small pity that we. left. I'm on my way. Found a way down. I'm going in, the rest of you stay back. Captain, <clears throat> I compared the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. That's a big, uh, is it called a morning star? Guarding the Mega Mighty, huh? If Lobo, I got a tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. Boss, you're on the ground. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Okay, I'm moving out. Shoot it's back. I'm overhead. Good. I'll signal with the 
locator. I can actually loot that. The rest of you, stay above ground. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. I found it. It's the Megamycete. That's the fetus thing in the middle of the key. The unborn. Alpha to squad. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain. I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but you really should have told me the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Yeah, kind of a dick move. This must be Miranda's lab. Quite, um, textured. <laughs> Subject name Salvatore Moreau. Cadao affinity low. Brain functions surprisingly low. The Gadao has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills in a swim bladder. Another subject with irregular cell division, causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects. An unfit vessel for Ava. Alcina Demitrescu. Cadao affinity, most favorable, brain functions normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal any external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Note, due to a hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Eva. Or Ava. Carl Heisenberg. Cadao affinity incredibly favorable. Brain functions normal. Has electric organs 
similar to the electric ray, um, Narke Japonica. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system, can therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Ava. Donna Beneviento. Cadao affinity favorable. Brain function normal, although severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal producing substance which controls plants infected by the muta, uh, mutamycete. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her cadao among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. An unfit vessel for Ava. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. That's Miranda. And the child that they're trying to replace now? Or find a vessel for? Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I've always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research. To think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person, while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I found the key to evolution. The progenitor, a virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it Umbrella, just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I'm one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you'll be able to achieve your goals someday, too. You taught me so much, and for that I'll be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. Spencer, here. No way. My Ava, it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then. But now, now I can bring you back to life from the Megamycete. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Megamycete Regulator, the Giant's Chalice. All that's left is to merge her with the Megamycete. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again. And that's when I found it. The Megamycete. Completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. 
The Megamycete breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamycete. That way I could control them, experiment on them. I've experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Kadao. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect. But most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA. But all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Ava, I've waited too long to see you again. This is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. This is the real Mia. Damn. It really is you. I'm glad you're safe, Mia. Why are you here? I was caught in Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me. Where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... He's gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Yeah, I didn't think that was the end of Ethan. Did you regrow your heart, buddy? What's going on? Just pour some fluid on the heart, shove it back inside. So it's there? It's cold. How did I get here? God, it's freezing. This shit in my body. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Dead? Uh, I mean... Miranda. She... Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Uh. Wrong! <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still... See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? Yeah, it was a little bit odd. Remember? Messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw <laughs> you! Then what, what am I? I, I, I did all that. Rose. Mia. Now do you get it? <laughs> Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> Ethan's a moldy boy. Family again. Family. Family. No. Rose. I have to save my daughter. You're already dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will save Rose. Are we in the Duke's cart? At last, he awakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and am already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Uh, 
Yeah. I have to be. I gotta go. Got my old equipment back. Yeah. Yeah, Ethan's body really isn't doing too well. <laughs> They're kind of stumbling about. They move really slowly. I should maybe see if I can actually do some shopping. <laughs> can I? Yes. Naturally. I definitely have some stuff to sell. I never was able to complete the necklace with one hole. And I'm not going to get to go back to the Moreau place and get that treasure chest. And I missed the Beneviento treasure somehow. Oh. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. Oh, this is for the handgun. Greatly increases firepower. Yes, please. Aha. Let's buy another health. Uh -huh. It's not really any reason to hold on to my money. I don't know, perhaps shotgun? Sure. Uh -huh. Please, be well. Thanks. We can move faster now. I guess our body's recovering. We're regenerating. I gotta keep going. Beautiful daughter, come to me. Eva, is that you? Oh, Mold baby. How I've missed you. What? <laughs> My power is leaving me! Rose! <sighs> Miranda! Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. Give Rose to me! Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything. Get her now! Let go! I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled! No. Rose! 
is mine! What the fuck? You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Holmes. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamice. Ah. Now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you I'll provide her with true happiness. So now you can die. Oof. You are truly a wonderful not father. Till Ouch. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Williams. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamice. Now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you I'll provide her with true happiness. So now you can die peacefully. Ah, not letting you get away. Please, Mr. Winters, I shall finish this. You understand the level of fear of a child? How can you deny me? Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn thing, not yours? This is... After all, everyone dies. I can take any form I desire. Beast. Uh -huh. Thank you. Why 
Why do you eat me? Surely you have no need of this now. So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter. You psycho. I will not let him or anyone else take Rose or my daughter. How are we doing on healing? Oh, we still have two. Okay. Nope. You. Well, Alright, that's all my shotgun. Why won't you die? There's no reason for me to use a weak weapon. Like, <laughs> use everything, right? Oh, I have magnum rounds. I've never seen a human live without his heart. Are you sure you're not one? Ah. Ah. The villagers, those four mutants, they could do nothing to assuage my years of knowing this. Ever think the problem might be you, Marina? You're not capable of real love. This is how you end the creatures. To ensure I never see your face again. I Ethan, wake up! Oh no. Chris. Ethan. He did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. Moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> And you tell yourself. Now oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Goodbye, Rosemary.
Ethan. Take us up now! Tell me what's going on. Where? What was that? I told you to sit down. so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. What the hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSA at Europe HQ. Someone's got to pay. I'm not sure if there's a scene after the credits or not, so I'll put it in text on the screen right now telling you whether there is something after the credits. Um, yeah, just a quick summary of my thoughts on Resident Evil Village. I loved it! It was so fun! Like, oh, I can only describe it as a very video gamey video game, you know what I mean? Like, it's like the big kind of AAA video gamey kind of game, which I don't play all that often. But I don't know, there's something about it. I really like it. I wasn't that into like Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6, but 7 and now 8. I love them. So that's been Resident Evil Village. I think they plan on doing DLC for it. So I'm really curious what they're going to do for that. And I'm very interested in it because, yeah, I loved it. I would love to play more. That's been Resident Evil Village. Thanks for watching.
gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more, in turn, is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, Monty.
think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like a kid. I think it does. <laughs> Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. <sighs> we have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. <laughs>